The stated mission of modern science is to dominate and control nature. It was born of the philosophies of Francis Bacon, who suggested we could learn to command nature in action, and of Rene Descartes, who wrote that mankind could become the masters and possessors of nature. This was science flipped on its head because the previous scientific philosophy saw nature as a perfect creation of God to be observed and understood. Take, for instance, water. Without water, we would not exist. And so the true value is in understanding the nature of water so that we can flow with it, not control it. For over 20 years, Japanese scientist Dr. Masaru Emoto studied the groundbreaking science of how the molecular structure in water transforms when exposed to human words, thoughts, and sounds. Dr. Emoto would simply label a sample of water with different written words, such as love and gratitude or I hate you. He would then freeze the water samples and capture them as they crystallized with high-speed microscopic photography. The results were astonishing. The crystals formed from water exposed to the words love and gratitude were clear, attractive, and symmetrical. And the crystals formed from I hate you were distorted, asymmetrical, and opaque. Over and over again, water samples exposed to positive intention formed the hexagonal snowflake-like patterns indicative of structured water found in nature. And samples exposed to negative intention would lose its structure and mutate, which was also found to be true with samples of polluted water. Decades of repeated experiments have clearly shown that water is transformed when exposed to human word, thought, and sound. Dr. Emoto theorized that this is because water has consciousness. Russian studies have shown that water is imprinted by the energy of its environment, and it retains memory from everything it comes in contact with, even when separated. During the discovery of the genome, Dr. Bruce Lipton was studying cellular behavior at Stanford University and discovered that our genes switch on or off based on their environment. Human beings are made of about 50 trillion cells, and each cell is its own little creature that eats, digests, reproduces, and forms communities. Each individual cell is constantly reading the quality of its environment through its outer membrane skin. This includes stressful emotions sensed via chemicals in the bloodstream. And when we are stressed, negative, or fearful, then our cells will switch into their own version of fight or flight mode. They will stop the process of self-healing and begin the process of self-defense. And conversely, when we are feeling positive emotions, our cells will be switched into self-healing and the body will thrive. Dr. Lipton's discoveries were ignored by modern science, who opted for drugs and surgery over love and happiness. This began the field of epigenetics and answered the question of nature versus nurture. Experiments have shown that a living creature will thrive on a genetic level when nurtured. Malignant tumor cells have been reversed and many people claim to have cured themselves of all sorts of disease, including cancer, by shifting and maintaining their mental attitude into a positive one. Official science will predictably call this spontaneous remission, but it is well documented. The cell protects itself by its membrane, which has a coating of negatively charged sugar crystals in a suspension of water. Most people think of water as being very special because of its ease of existence in three different states liquid, ice, and vapor. But the water in our body is not in any of these states. The water that makes up our cells is in the gel state. Science is now recognizing a fourth state of water, known as the gel state, or structured water. This fourth state is an electropolar state, whereas some of the water becomes a negatively charged gel, and the rest, known as bulk water, maintains a positive charge and remains more like a liquid. This electropropulsion creates movement and kinetic energy. This is how the blood is moved throughout our body. The latest evidence shows that the blood is pumping the heart, not the other way around. And it's the gel state water that propels the blood. To thrive, this natural propulsion system requires a connection to the earth, sunlight, positive human connection, and peace of mind. Your body is made up of over 50 trillion cells, and each one's health is dependent upon your own. Our happiness, or lack thereof, 
not only affects our health, it affects the health of everyone who enters our environment. So if you'd like to make the world a better place, then learn how to be happy. Greg Reese reporting. Thank you for watching the latest Greg Reese Report. Be sure to go to reesreport.com to see my latest videos, sign up for my free newsletter, and subscribe for exclusive content. And be sure to support my sponsor at infowarsstore.com. Because you want it, here's another one just for you. Because without you, it would truly be a blue Christmas. But thank God that we have you, all of us, awakening and vibrant souls all over the earth. It's your love, our love, that makes all of this possible. And if you feel like showing us some love today and help keep us on the air, you can do so at InfoWarsStore.com. Products that will make your life better and allow us to keep broadcasting free worldwide. We are all in this together, through thick and thin. On behalf of the whole crew, we love you and we thank you for your support.